Just to dive right into this look, you see here I'm just priming my lips, getting a nice moisturizer Carmex, then I'm taking my NYX Tame and Frame Brow Pomade in the shade Espresso, and I'm just taking that product with a simple Bitch Cosmetics um, brush, and I'm going to put that right through my brows and all my sparse areas, and then follow the shape of my brows and just fill them in. Then I'm going to take a spoolie brush and just spoolie those out and spread the product through evenly and get them right in shape and in formation, girl. Then here I'm going to take my LA Girl HD Pro Concealer in the shade Toast. I'm going to sculpt out my brows and get them nice and sharp because we're doing a smoky eye. So you want the brows to be popping too. Make sure you do some tribal print situation on your brows. Get those ethnic roots popping. Yes, it's unless you actually have to do it. So And you got to pose too. Yes. And then I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics Blending um, Concealer Brush in the brush number 130. And this brush is so good and it's so affordable. And I'm just going to take that and I'm going to blend all the way down to my eyelids because I'm going to use the Pro Concealer as a shadow base for the shadows we're going to be applying down. Right here, you see I'm going to take that brown orangey color shade and I'm going to place it all over my lid and it's going to use it's going to like be used as a base for my shadows so that they can blend easy and also kind of as like a really nice like contour shade in a way. Then you see here, I'm going to take my Morphe E17 brush, and I'm going to take that medium brown shade, and I'm going to take that right and put that in my crease, and I'll focus that on like the outer corner and right in the crease, I'm only taking about halfway through. You don't want to bring it, this product all the way through the crease, like all the way from like left to right, right to left, however you want to call it. And then I'm going to take a just a blending brush that I got from my Ipsy Glam bag. It's from Lab 2. I'll post it in the description box down below. I'm going to take that brush and just blend everything out. Then I'm going to take the darkest brown shade in that palette, which you can see is heavily used, with that same E17 brush. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to make that crease even darker and focus it mostly on the outer corner, as you can see. The main thing with this look is focus on the outer corner because we want to make the smoky eye like a gradient effect and look kind of messy, but just really grungy and red, red carpet ready because that's why I noticed more so on the red carpet for the Oscars. Everybody had a really nice simple soft smoky eye but it was just also like super grungy too and not that put together if that makes sense but it was just a beautiful thing and it's just so easy to do you just focus the product on the outside of your eye and you see here I'm just taking that blending brush again and just blending everything out making sure everything is nice and seamless you don't want any lines and you just want it all to just blend girl and you see from here like it's all just pretty much on the outside of the eye which is going to elongate the eye and give you kind of like a cat eye effect and it's going to narrow the eyes out and give you like that nice almond shape. No matter what eye shape you have, like doing this technique will work for you. It's so great. I love it. You see here, I'm just going back in with that blending brush and just blending those shadows nice together, nicely together. Get that nice gradient effect. Yeah, feeling myself, as you can see. Per usual, what's new? So yeah, basically right now you can pretty much see that all you're doing is just placing the product on the outer corner of the eye and blending it all out seamlessly. Then I'm gonna take my Maybelline Baby Skin Primer, and I love this primer. It has like a it's a really silicone base, so I don't like to apply like a lot of powder on top of it directly, like I would my cosmetics powder, which is known as my champ. But I think this is a pretty good primer, and it mattifies the skin. Then I'm gonna take my LA Girl Corrector, Orange Corrector, and just fill in those dark spots to try to cancel everything out. A lot of people ask me why I do this. Um, it's because red cancels out a lot of the dark circles because you look at the color wheel like red, orange, and blue, like they're contrasting, so they cancel each other out. So that's basically why I do it, to just cover those dark suckers, girl. Then I'm gonna take my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Mac Foundation, say shade 112 Cocoa, apply it over my face. Yeah, I put too much on my left side, but you know we're gonna make it work. So I, I love to blend this foundation now with my hands. Like, I don't know, I feel like it just gives me more of a realistic finish and for the red carpet Oscars look, mostly everybody had a flawless foundation like uh, application. It was amazing. So of course I'm gonna strive for perfection, but I'm gonna take my um, Real Techniques blending sponge and just apply that to just take away a little bit of product since I apply too much. And then I'm gonna take my LA Girl Pro Concealers in the shade Beautiful Bronze and Medium Beige, and I'm gonna highlight and brighten up my eyes and conceal those bags. You know. 
my designer bags that I got on my eyes, I got to conceal them things because they're not ready for the Oscars, you know. The only designer bag that I want to have on me is in my hand. Make it more tribal print because, you know, I love to be super tribal, you know. I love Pocahontas, Tarzan, all that. That's my favorite. Then I'm going to take that Real Technique sponge and blend it all out. Making sure everything is nice blended. You can't see any harsh lines and demarc lines of demarcation. Pretty easy. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna take my Beige Cosmetics 127 contour brush and contour my cheeks with that dark brown shadow that we used in the crease and on the outer corner for the smoky eye. Take that, get my contour points ready, make my nose, cheese, just pretty much chiseling my face, making it look like I haven't eaten in a month because you know, that's the goal. You wanna like you star for the red carpet or photo shoot or whatever you're gonna wear this look to. You wanna look hungry, baby, basically. Mama, grandmama ain't fed you in a month. You haven't went over Sunday dinner, whatever the case may be. So carve those cheeks out, blend it all in. And I love that brown shade, like I've said before, because it has like a really nice gray undertone, which just gives you like a gray cast rather than like a brown muddy look to your face. So I love that about it. That's why I use this so much. And plus I'm dark, so it's hard to find a contour shade in my color. Then I'm gonna take one of those shades from my Morphe palette and use that as a blush. I love using eyeshadows for a blush because it's just an easy alternative in my opinion. And then I'm gonna take my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm gonna use that to set that concealer in place because you don't want it to move with all the flash photography and everything like that on the red carpet. You don't want to flash back as well. And I love this powder because there's not a lot of talk in it, which is one of the main causes for flashback, ghost face killer. And then as you see here, I'm gonna take a nice pen, um, pencil brush and I'm gonna take that dark shadow and I'm gonna go on my lash line, lower lash line and just blend that color right in. Focus it on the outer corners like I said before. Pretty much you're leaving your inner corners alone and blank and the same thing on the top. Then I'm gonna take my e.l.f. black pencil liner and I'm gonna line my waterline with that. Same thing with this and I'm gonna take that all the way in. I'm gonna stop about three fourths, three fourths of my eye and leave the inner corner of it blank. That's gonna give you that more sultry, sexy cat eye look and just gonna like bring it all together. Like the smoky is just, girl you're gonna be smoked out, okay? Then I'm gonna take a nice dense brush and brush that powder away. I like using a dense brush when I'm brushing a powder away because it kind of presses it into, so it just kind of mattifies everything and gives you a nice smooth finish. And for lashes, I'm gonna be applying lashes in the style Jackie from Lena Lashes. Right in my hotel room and sure didn't feel like coming out here and talking about how you were oh, impressed over that face of God. Let me tell you something, folks. There's things that go on in all of our lives that nobody else knows anything about. So we're just gonna pretend like that didn't happen and keep it pushing, okay girl, thank you. So you see here, I'm just gonna take my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in the shade Black Nowhere, however you say that, and I'm gonna apply that to my lower lashes and my top lashes to just combine them so they look seamless. Then I'm gonna take my Morphe Eyeshadow Brush in the, sh in the brush E30 and apply the two highlighter shades from the Carly Bible Palette onto my cheeks. I tried this technique that I got from Patrick Ta and that's applying highlight with the eyeshadow brush. Honestly, I love it. Like my highlight has never looked so freaking good, so seamless. Snatch that nose, highlight that nose, get it, Tim Man, I love it. Then I'm gonna take my mascara again and I'm gonna comb through my eyebrows and set those in place. My little secret I love to do. It just accentuates those hairs and make it look more lifelike and thicker and fuller and everything and just get some extra popping. I'm gonna take my little brush and just apply some of that gold bronze highlight into my inner corners. Here I'm gonna take my NYX Ombre Lip Duo in the shade Cookies and Cream and apply that to my lips for a nice mauve grayish pinkish nude lip, if that's a good description you describe for yourself. But basically, that's how I describe it. The looks that I saw on the red carpet were a really nice, beautiful, smoky eye with a pretty beautiful nude lip. So once I'm done applying that lippy, I'm just gonna set my face with my Mario Badescu Rose Water Setting Spray to just blend all those powders together and make sure that my face lasts all night long and looks flawless. Because best believe, wherever you wear this look to, girl, all eyes are gonna be on you. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned something and come back for more. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See you later, loves. <laughs>